All right, so this little video is pretty funny. George happened to catch some of the live action you're about to see on video. But basically, if you guys don't know, we bought this cobalt like three years ago for a science channel project. And then George, you know, he lives like 100 miles from work. So he was driving his pickup every day. So I just kind of gave him the cobalt to drive because it obviously gets better gas mileage. But when I gave it to him, it was in rough shape. And then obviously we've crashed it multiple times on the channel in the last few months. And he beats the life out of it, has nitrous on it, whatever. And today it finally died. But rest assured, I have found George a newer, much, much more American vehicle. And I'm excited for that to come. So the Cobalt is pretty much dead. And you'll see that in today's video, but he's coming back with something better. I'm turning around. <coughs> Cobalt is full of smoke. It might be on fire. Uh oh. Maybe it is on fire. Oh, it's on fire. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Okay, that was really freaky. I just called Zach to come and hurry up with the fire extinguisher. My hands are shaking. Let me keep this gate open. Yep, she is on fire. Not gonna be good for the driveway. Where's it on fire? Oh my God. Save some so I can all pop right, the trunk right. real quick. All right, pop it. I gotta get the key. <laughs> Happens all the time. We're used to it. <laughs> all right. It probably put itself out. <sighs> Hold on. What were you doing, George? Dude, I, you almost gave him a heart attack. Come on, chill out. It's, it's, oh, I was like, no, no. That's why, I, dude. When when I called you, it was a little, a little baby, little fire. Then I'm like, I gotta call. I'm, I'm like taking a video. It pretty quick. Yeah, what you did. What'd you do, dude? You, it was running really bad. It was running really bad. So I came here. That's what I did just now. I checked the plugs, and I'm like, oh well, I gotta go home. So I get like halfway down the road, I'm like, this thing is running so bad. And I turn around, I just, if I floored it, it would clear out a little bit. Dude, you had and then <laughs> up here, I start recording. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get the spark. There's smoke all in this thing. <laughs> and then uh, people are beeping at me. I'm like, oh, it's, it's almost like it's on fire or something. At least you didn't drive it long. <laughs> yeah, that would have been really bad five minutes up the road. Woo! Best place for it to happen. <laughs> yeah, I know. Probably, <laughs> definitely not gonna be oh, not gonna be good for the new uh, driveway. At least your plate came off for the new car. I don't think it's gonna be good for uh, the rest of your cobalt either. Dang, inside of the car, we're good on that, right? I was like, no, my Milwaukee's are gonna burn. Oh, I should have screamed NOS. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I didn't. It would have exploded. All right. Well, sorry about your car, buddy, but I always wanted to use one of these. It's pretty warm. Never get to use fire extinguishers. We're good. Same with, same with fire extinguisher. <laughs> you guys know anything about car fires? <laughs> Come on, catch on fire? Oh, it was oh, yeah. flaming. Oh my god. Sam about died. <laughs> That's what you call making it back in the nick of time. Are you gonna put some heat in the motor? No, dude, I was just driving. <laughs> I heard the fear. <laughs> I said right now. <laughs> Did you 